So, did you smoke crack or not? No. No. Why were you so adamant against the allegations? I mean, I wanted to give the Bill Clinton, like, you know. Why can't you look at me when you tell me about Because this? you're behind me. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. It's not just like a Labor Day thing, like try everything once? No, it was not like a Labor Day thing, just try everything once. And the summer thing? No, it wasn't. Dave Miller at Declan's kicked someone out for actually smoking crack in their bathroom. He like locked himself in the bathroom with Declan's and was smoking crack in there. They got it open. He told Dan about it in a text message, in like a private group <laughs> text message. Like, yeah, I just kicked someone out of my bar for smoking crack. And Dan responded, like, I'll, I'll have a talk with WSD and tell him not to do that again. So you're not against smoking crack? If you want to smoke crack, smoke crack. You can smoke all the crack you want. What do you think about how people think that there was a legitimate chance that you might have actually smoked crack? That, that's the most alarming part about it, <laughs> by far and away. I have seen crack once. I think it was crack. I, did, I don't can't confirm it was crack or not, but it was in Lowell, Massachusetts. This Is there anything like that could entice ago. you into smoking crack? Money. Yeah. A lot of money. What about a girl with a big pair of no. jugs? No. No? I don't think so. No? She's like, hey, Dave. It had to be, it had to be I'll like smack these babies right in your face if you just have a smoke of this crack pipe. You'd be mm -hmm. like, no way. No way. But if you. What about you, Ed? Would you? Yeah, so is crack the one with the tinfoil or no? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I don't know, that tinfoil always. Is crack me meth? Out. <laughs> what? Is crack meth? Is that the uh, same drug? I'm just gonna pretend like I know nothing about it. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't well, know. Well, you already blew your cover there. Well, yeah, it's me. You're the crackhead of the office now. <laughs> I'm not a crackhead. <laughs> and even, if, crackhead. Even, even if I did smoke crack once, which I did it, does that make you a crackhead? Does smoking pot once make you a pothead? I think I think there are certain drugs that push you in an echelon. If you smoke <laughs> crack once, you're a crackhead. That's fair, very fair, very fair, very fair. But uh, I did not smoke crack, no. that you work with people. Yeah, I do. So you just don't give a shit? What do you mean? Uh, no one no one here finds it offensive except for you. You're like the weakest. Like you the don't weakest. find this offensive? Harry doesn't find it offensive, no. I mean, he's just a frig because he's the intern. No, he's not. He's not. Speak freely. You don't find he's it offensive that he's, his disgusting sweat and blood is going to get all over you? There's no blood. As long as he covers it up. Continue. There's no blood. They're not bad, right? He's taking I mean, care of it too. Yeah. What's all that brown shit all over your feet? Probably dirt. Yeah. And they're on the new oriental rugs. Yeah. And what about all that hair on your toes? I mean, that's just called genetics. What's well, like the same thing when people question the hair over your eyeballs? Like that's just something that you have. Okay. Fair. Now what about <laughs> the smell that's radiating off of them? I mean, it's man smell. You are a mental midget. You have a weak stomach. You won't. You can't eat anything like gross. Your feet. No, you're disgusting. you're easily grossed out. Like people, yeah, people, no people would so be you just shocked. Take that into account when you take off your disgusting. This is called exposure feet. therapy, Dave. This is expo I'm trying to help you grow to be a, a, no, a stronger person. And, and you're like what's spreading. That smell? <laughs> exactly. What? You said what's that smell? You want to be in the same category as Dan? Not typically, but when he brings up a good point, I will. Nah. Be on his side. No, nah, you're on his side because he's too cold in here. You got you got the, the heebie-jeebie stomach problems. Yeah, because I don't like fucking feet. Feet are disgusting. <sighs> Dave talks about you all the time. Nice to finally meet you. That's not true. <laughs> Mr. Hunt, how's it going? Mr. Hunt, my father's here? Yeah, Fantastic. he is here. Eddie, how are you? Hey, Eddie. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you doing all right? Good. Good. Good to have you in. How long have you guys been here? Uh, July 1st? Yeah. July 1st or so, yeah. So Couple brand months. Brand spanking new, no more insurance closets nice. and all that. Nice. Yep. Moving up in the world. Yeah. Trying to, trying to. Right. Nice Great. to meet you. Nice to, nice to meet you. No, uh, no Carl. No Carl. <laughs> Still waiting yeah. here from the league about the slaughter rule for the club. Yeah, season. exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll be, we'll be good. We'll be all right without him. Yeah, we'll be good without him. <laughs> think rarely you get to see this kind of courage. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Um, good to hear. We'll get you in and out though. Okay. I know you've had a busy day. Yep. 
big day for White Sox Dave. Um, it comes there from the from the head man. You gotta respect it. Drive by shooting. Respect it. Did our camera guy wear this hat on purpose? He's wearing a Yankees hat. Yeah. 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 Like that's Dave's <laughs> most hated team. What is magic number? Do you got magic number, Connor? Do you guys have like little? We don't. We don't. Pad? And honestly, like it's funny because someone mentioned the other day it was like 24 or something like that. Yeah. And. We had this debate, like, does it matter until it's in the teens or single digits? Like, when does the magic number matter? But it's really start to sink in. I think, yeah. given where we've all been and what we've dealt with, we're going to start counting at 70 if you want. I don't yeah. care. Enjoy it. I mean, there Enjoy are more it. people actually doing that, yep. which is the funny part. But um, it's a good thing. It's going to be a long, hopefully a long playoff run. I think it's your mouth to God's ears, man. Thanks again. Good to meet you, Eddie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. He's our Manhattan guy. It's a good-looking Yankee hat, Tom. Thank you. (laughs) Did you actually berate him? I didn't berate him. I didn't notice until right now. His heels were out. Those are basically the same thing as mine. It's he fine was to not wearing those. Are so after you're rollerblading five miles, your problem is just because and what you, sir, are the guy in a bathroom. What are you talking about? Ass feet all over. You just you 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 had I don't know. Full disclosure, the whole dog. What? What are we talking about? Instead of like going into a bathroom, you want my bare feet to be in a fucking monsoon? Such a baby. Are they still arguing about this guy's feet? Oh, we got another show to record, don't we? Yeah, we do have another show to do. Don't get my head off. Chris Bryant's back in town. Cubs versus Giants. Cubs traded him to Giants. Giants back playing at Wrigley. This is one of the most emotional reunions I've ever had to go through. I love this guy. So I didn't know how big this was. It's like, I mean, like until you stand in front of it. I know. It's so cool. did they put that in your rookie year? When was it? So you were already good. Yeah. It wasn't like you had. It wasn't like they painted this and then you went out and played the Dodgers and struck out four times. This is this was before uh, I got called up. I'm sorry, by the way. You met Eddie. This is this is how you do it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've ever. Yeah, we were, I was on an interview with him when uh, I mean the one that went kind of viral, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Don't have any fun. <laughs> kind of feels like a funeral today, guys. You gotta be honest. <laughs> 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 it's like a funeral. Kind of looking. Feels like an off day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's the West Coast? You feel like you're uh, you're back on the time? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Sports good. starting early and everything. And... Oh yeah, that's the weird thing where you're like the last team that's playing. Like, I think so. You're kind of jealous of the other. They're, like, they're already done with their game. We haven't even started ours. Yeah. Is it harder to hit at night or in the morning oh. there? Oh yeah, it's definitely pitcher's park. Okay, it's so definitely not like, like. I've been watching some of the games recently here, and some of the homers the guys are hitting. I'm like, dang, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we do got our guy Red Rhino out there. Did you see the guy we hired? With the Ooh. mullet, the orange mullet. Oh yeah, yeah. you gotta look out for him. Hired someone with the orange mullet. Yeah, that's probably just, why you hired him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly why he he was like 17 years old and he was in the bleachers and uh, at uh, Oracle and he was going nuts, like pounding his chest and he had an orange mullet. And, like go. we're like we gotta have this guy. He's a diehard you Giants know, fan. The guy who cracks me up is the Mets guy. The, <laughs> the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually we're all Frank the oh Tank guy. Goodness. Wait, you like the Mets guy though? Frank no, the he's, Tank. Yeah, he's funny. I don't know. I I, I see stuff up, like all, online all the time. He's breaking down his team. It's funny. Oh we battled. We fucking battled. We. Fu- I think he said the Mets were going like 20 and 142 last. Year. Like he's yeah. just like. And he means it. Like if you talk <laughs> to him, he's like, yeah, no, we're gonna lose 142 oh, games. Man. And here's how exactly how we're gonna do it. Well, he makes it really funny too. It's like you can tell he cares, but it's so funny. Yeah, caring as a fan is really funny, man. Like, awesome. What was that like seeing him back in town? Good, man. I I, told, I kind of had to break the ice and walk up a little bit. It was, it was like a it was like a very serious funeral moment. So uh, it's good to see him, though. I mean, it is kind of funerally, I guess. <laughs> They're taking down a mural. He's the most successful player in the history of the Cubs franchise. And, uh, we had, no one said goodbye to him when he left. Yeah. It was so, just like, all right, you're on the Giants now. Yeah, so you wish it was a little happier, Mom? But, like, you know, it is what it is, I guess. No. We would love to put this in the Barstool Chicago office. Yeah. It's right down the street, and we actually have a spot for it. So. There you go. <laughs> the ball but you guys should make this, like, what is it, in the office where they put, like, requests? Yeah. 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 Carl, this needs to be the suggestion of the box for uh, the Barstool. Yeah, we're going to, like, we'll put tape over, like, yeah. Okay. We want to. Report. 
criticize. We buy your suggestions. <laughs> And then here's the thing, every time a good one comes, I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. I'll forward it along. I brought my golf glove, Foot Joy, so we can yell at you like you do all of us. Bro, I was a pitcher in college. I know. Arm side you run. Told, you told me the story. Mm, of the, like, but I wasn't it. <laughs> side armor. I wasn't a hitter. <laughs> no. There you go. He says it before he gets in the cage. <laughs> Lay the groundwork yeah. for this terrible yeah. round of batting practice. Yeah, yeah. How fast? This one's fast. What is it? Like 45? Did you have any tips? No. No. You didn't give me any tips when I was on the Hitting? How do you think he's going to do? I hope he misses every single one. <laughs> yeah, no, I he probably will. He did this last week. He missed every one. Did he? Yeah. I think he should stand there and just wear one off the chest. Yeah. I think it's not. Oh, no, no, no. no chance. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, you actually do. No. Just missed three in a row and you look like me. He bunted. <laughs> he made it you. Did? Yeah, I did. You did okay. Look in the camera and say it. No. Fuck. <laughs> you, can you? You got to play. No, I can't. The Giants said I can. That's a good excuse, huh? <laughs> yeah. Lefty. That's how you get fired. I, th I think you should wear one in your elbow. I think it'd be good content. Do you think he's going to? Yeah. That's fixed, dude. That's <laughs> <I don't like> <laughs> Gotta get a little closer. I can't. <laughs> that looks better than his righty swing. Hey, it just glanced you. I, I've seen this guy cry and come out of games for way less than 82 off of soft thigh whoa, whoa, tissue. Whoa, whoa. This is 47. Go up there and wear one off your fingers. No! Do it. No! Come on. What do you, how much Evo wear shield? How much Evo shield do you wear when you get drilled? Wear 95 off your fingers. All right, so Chris Bryant's tougher than me. He's a better hitter than me. Is that the worst one? The fingers? Yeah. yeah. You gotta go a little closer. And just let it hit your fingers. You'll be fine. I blog for a living. These are my money makers, bro. Like, you have your blue eyes. I got my fingers. You have a big mouth, too. That works. <laughs> True story. True story. I was in these cages two weeks ago. We played the Royals. We did. No, it's we. We. no. I'm a weirdo. You can't say that. I know, I know, Stop I know. Stop saying that. But here's why I we. No, but I say that I, I said that on a blog in Barcelona back in the day, and then people get mad at me, and then I'm like, fine, fuck it, get mad at me. Well, but they're probably the same people that say we too. And we came up here, same cage, same situation, classic sluggers. I didn't fault hit one ball. We have it on footage too. You filmed it. I didn't hit one ball. Not one ball. So you made the adjustment. You were probably in here every night with, by yourself. Yeah, I, know, I, get, I get the Red Bull invite. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, welcome to the interview portion of today's show. We are in the Slugger's batting cages with Chris Bryan. It's Carl and Eddie. Chris, thanks for jumping on the show this time. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a regular. Guy. Yeah. And you can put this on your personal Facebook oh, if yeah. you want to. I can't <laughs> be mad at you at all. Dude, you have a future in being an internet troll. <laughs> Your future is like an internet contact guy. I, get, I feel like I could be a good like, analyst like, talking about baseball, but it's like, I only want to do that like certain spots. So he's like my favorite guy in the world. We're actually friends now. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to invite him to Thanksgiving. Hey, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Too aggressive. Dave, 
Would you mind telling us three people you want dead most this week for September 6th through September 10th? Three people I want dead. Eddie's number one because he's a <laughs> swindler. Why is that? Because he's he's just always scheming. Then next I will go with uh, Chief because of his Notre Dame bet. And, I mean, that bet's just not going to hit after watching him play. And then Notre Dame fans. Wow. Which is Notre Dame Nation. I think it's pretty telling that he didn't put crack, huh? Or Derek Jeter on the day he's getting in the hall. I mean, it's not Derek Jeter's fault that <coughs> it's not Indy Nations either. People right. think Thank you, Dave. Than... No crack is the biggest upset of the year. Actually, you can change number two because ND Nation and Chief are like one and the same at this point, apparently. You can put number two virtue signalers. People virtue signaling for Brian Kelly's like reg resignation. And no crack. I mean, you want to talk about an upset. No one saw that coming. <laughs> Dave, would you say you like crack since you didn't put it on here? Shut up. <laughs> That's a tough running joke to have. The resident crack guy. <laughs> if you want to be in content, we'll be in content. Sure. <laughs> I, I mean, I can pull this card. He don't if he's want the that. Dan don't want that smoke. Yeah, Dan doesn't want that. <laughs> oh, no. I got That's true everything too. I... <clears throat> you as a girl? You don't, you don't know the stuff I have on you the past two years? Like what? Yeah, I think that would be... <laughs> that would be... That would be... I got plenty more than that. Immovable force versus an unstoppable object. Or I think I reversed those. But you know what I mean. So we're going to the shoe store right now to finally debunk the myth or the truth about Babyfoot Gate. He thinks it's like an elaborate ruse, like I'm gonna pull a rug from under him, but it's truly not. Roll the picture. You see it right there on the screen. This is, I don't, we, I wanted to do this in real time, but for whatever reason in our old office, like it didn't work, well, something happened. Bro, Chief being a barefoot fucking caveman has brought this back <laughs> so, in. So I'm the one who has to go do something. No, no, it's not, this is not like, this is just like a friendly video. See, like, uh, usually I, I do. I don't trust you, because there's it's no, always a sabotage. I know. It's always a sabotage. I am guilty of sabotaging, I know, but yeah. I. So, I mean, I the way you cried wolf? No, I promise you, this is not a setup. I just truly wanted to debunk, or I want to realize baby foot gate. Considering my height, how tall am I, Ed? Five, six? Five, seven. Five, six. Now you're just like, no. Nah. Okay, five, seven. And you claim you have 12 and a half. I wear 12 and a half for a lot of my shoes, but for like running shoes and shit, when I like it nice and snug, well, I'll go down to 11 and a half. That's so. quite the changer. People don't believe that you're an 11 and a half at the least, put it that way. Based on the picture. These are 11 and a half. And these are like a perfect fit on So you're saying there's a, a zero percent chance you're smaller than a What? Like half. here's the setup. Like what's the <laughs> what's the fucking setup? There's no you tried setup. doing this yesterday with the fucking Portnoy show. You're like zero. What? Like what are these? Something's going on with you. There's guys. nothing going on. I swear. So if it's like eleven and a quarter, what's what's gonna be the reaction? Yeah. I I don't know. I'm just interested. So you see why like this is the kind of setup like I don't want to do this. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't think people are gonna like. Yeah, they be, will. I don't think we're gonna I'm have people lining up. I'm fucking a crackhead now on, on the internet because of a joke. So. No, but I don't think people are gonna be lining up throwing a size ten shoes in the fucking window just to be like, white socks. You don't think? Wise. Have you been on the internet before? Yeah, I have. But I don't. This is just. I, I just want to put it. I want to debunk baby foot. That's all I want to do. I think this is fucking stupid. Guaranteed. I don't like touching the handles, you know? Talking like rubbery tires. I want to touch tires. Oh, look at all the shoes there. Every time I walk into a shoe store, a shoe store, Target, Walmart, anything like that, life hack, pick up a pair of socks because socks just disappear. So I always do that. It's like a little trick of mine. And now I got like a surplus of socks. Excuse me? If you were to size this guy up, what kind of shoe do you think you wear? Very hard, please. Hard question? Uh, 10? 
Ten? Okay. He claims eleven and a half, so official okay. measurement for that. I, I was in between ten or eleven. Ten and eleven. Okay. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Is this thing got a name? Do you know what this is called? The Brannock device. The Brannock device. Brannock. Brannock. A N N O C K. Well, are, would you mind measuring, my buddy? Yeah, I mean, yeah. all it is is uh, you, it's, it's, you just put your heel to the back and stand up, making sure that you put your right heel there or your left heel here. There's been a little discrepancy by the shoe size. Yeah, it's all going to depend on brand. So brands are, um, yeah. like, every single brand runs a little bit different. So you're measuring right at an 11. So he's in 11 on the dot, huh? 11 and a half and others. Okay. So what, what would you, if you had an 11 size shoe, or I'm sorry, on the Brannock device or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. Would you go with size 11? I would start with 11, but each brand, as you move through it, you might have to go up or down. What would you say brand, Nikes typically are? Because that's all I wear. Um, I would say start with 11, and then each one, um, each style runs maybe a little bit different, so you're going to have to put it on to actually know. Okay. Would you say 12 and a half is probably way out of his range, though? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got Jordans that are 12 and a half. Yeah, I would say 11, 12 and a half would probably be, be too big. Okay. For Air Force Ones, I've always gone 11 and a half. For Jordans, which I have ones, threes, fours, 11s. I got a couple pairs of Jordans that are nice when I, like, I'm like i going out and I'll, they're like 12 and a half. What do you think they about, are 12 What do you think about him saying that 12 and a half is way out of range though? He also said that those could have fit like a 12. Let's get you on there. Ten. Nine. Maybe a little bit, pull the jeans a little bit, ever so slightly, Dave. Yeah. A little bit more, give me more. Babyfoot. That's how Babyfoot Gate started. I don't know if we resolved it, though. <laughs> Did we resolve it? I was truthful. I was truthful, too. <laughs> hey, sir, he came out to a, He came out to an 11. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big win for him, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> Can we go now? So the girth of your foot is what holds it's it all the It's called the yaw, I believe is the uh, the technical term for it, the yaw. Who the fuck told you that? Randy Marsh. Uh -huh. How'd you enjoy going to the shoe store with me today? I didn't. I, I was fully expecting... See, was it a sabotage though? Yeah, but it doesn't it was mean not. I'm going to leave you the next time you want to do something. It was not a sabotage. I'm, good. I'm conditioned to think everything you do is a sabotage. No, it's not. It always is. It's always the same.